Item number SCP-7475-J Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-7475-J is to be kept at Site-69 in a 6x6x6 meter tank filled with salt water derived from the Pacific Ocean. Said tank is to be reinforced by 3 meter thick steel slabs removed only for testing and feeding. Subject is to be fed one meal of chum every eight hours. Subject is to be monitored by waterproof cameras at all times. Any attempts at a containment breach are to be met with a non-lethal force until the subject is reminded of its nature. SCP-7475-J is to be made aware of its nature every two hours, regardless of whether or not it has forgotten. Should the subject refuses to hear out this information, it is to be made aware by force. In the event the subject does severe damage to itself, medical attention is to be given under heavy armed guard. SCP-7475-J is not allowed any requests of any kind, regardless of how well behaved it has been in recent weeks. Object Description SCP-7475-J is a heavily mutated humanoid, discovered roaming the Pacific Ocean in 20 beep. Subject stands at 2.3 meters tall and weighs 155 kilograms. The skin of the subject is a deep gray and continually secretes a moistening agent for up to 10 hours when on land. Subject is capable of withstanding ocean pressures at depths of up to 2,000 meters and can achieve speeds of 80 kilometers per hour when submerged. The subject's respiratory system is highly unusual, shifting between normal human lungs and fish-like gills whenever it enters or exits a body of water. Subject's eyes are adapted to underwater conditions, is in possession of webbed hands and feet, and has recently developed slightly scaly skin along the frontal abdomen. SCP-7475-J currently refuses to divulge exactly how these mutations came about. SCP-7475-J refers to itself only as TurboShock Provalizer 6000, and claims to be the Shock Punching Center's top agent. Given the subject's consistent demand for shocks to punch, capability of punching at 85 kilograms per square centimeter when attacking sharks, and discovery in the middle of punching a shark, there is no reason to doubt these claims. SCP-7475-J refuses to engage in any situations that do not involve sharks. Enforced testing under these conditions have revealed its baseline strength to be exceptionally weak. SCP-7475-J possesses a greatly limited intelligence, demonstrating an intelligence quotient of 65 and is aggressively single-minded, occasionally not even registering that subjects other than sharks exist. Addendum 7475-J1 Prior to Incident 7475-J AD3, the subject was granted any requests it made, as most of these were shark-based in nature and typically do not pose any threat to the staff, aside from the trouble of obtaining sharks for the subject to punch. However, on beep, 20 beep, subject grew tired of waiting for the current request, a crocodile shark, and demanded a set of children's scuba gear with a shark motif. After going through site command, the subject's request was granted and delivered inside of three hours. At 1300 hours, SCP-7475-J reached containment and ran amok in Site-69, waving the components of the scuba gear above its head and screaming frantically. Upon encountering any person, the subject would grab them and pin them against the wall, forcibly place the gear upon them, and punch the victim in the face. This went on for 50 minutes during which time SCP-7475-J managed to capture and punch Beep Foundation agents, researchers, and doctors before being sedated from a distance and returned to its containment chamber. From this point on, all requests made by SCP-7475-J were to be denied without exception. Addendum 7475-J2 Prior to Incident 7475-GW6 
The subject's tank was composed entirely of bulletproof glass, and minimal security was built towards it. A week after incident 7475 AD 3, the subject breached containment once again. Video of the escape shows the subject ranting about Foundation members being part of the shock-loving agenda and randomly punching them in the face, despite their distinct lack of similar appearance to all relation to sharks. Subject's holding tank was afterwards fitted with current steel slabs, as per the new containment protocols. Addendum 7475J3 After six containment breaches similar to Incident 7475GW6 and multiple failed efforts to keep the subject sedated and contained, Dr. Kerikis erroneously informed SCP 7475J that, due to its skin condition and ability to survive underwater, it was part shark. Upon receiving this information, the subject became unresponsive to any other information and began to repeatedly punch itself in the face. This has proven to be an effective way of keeping the subject from breaching containment. However, the strength of the exhibit when attacking sharks has led to minor brain damage, repeated bouts of amnesia, and an occasional loss of consciousness. Despite this, as long as the subject is repeatedly reminded of its status as a shark, the only other action needed to keep it contained is medical attention for any serious injuries. Excerpt from SCP 7475J Surveillance Transcript No! I've the punched the sharks! No, 7475, you are the sharks! Addendum 7475J4 Though the subject has not confirmed nor denied the theory that a shark punching center is responsible for its condition, the strong possibility that it was mutated by the organization has grabbed Foundation attention. Requests to make the center an official group of interest are currently under review.